No, I told you I liked whiskey. I told you I liked whiskey. Hi, and welcome to Booze Reviews. I'm Adrian. I'm Chris. And today we are reviewing the Glenfiddich uh, cast collection. Uh, first up, out of the gate, it is the select cask. Uh, this little bad boy, um, you know, it is a product of uh, three different uh, caskings uh, that are married together in a Solera vat. Uh, they take a bourbon cask, uh, a sherry cask, and a red wine cask, uh, and um, yeah, mature them separately and then throw them together, stick it in a Solera vat, and what we get here is, uh, well, select cask. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's meant to be available in, in airports and such, travel lounges. Mm -hmm. I've got these three on you know, the well-known internet shopping site. Um, yeah, so maybe you can pick them up here and there, the some mm. you know, availability. Yeah. So we're going to check out whether it's worth picking up if you see it in that yeah. airport. Uh, and certainly looking on the internet, the full-size bottles are certainly available, certainly in the mm. UK at least, so uh, yeah. Still one you can get your hands on. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. All right. Have a little sniff. Let's do it. Left a, left a little break for you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. It's quite light though. It's not... Mm. Yeah, it's not bursting out at you, is it? No. You know, it comes to this kind of stronger smelling ones. It's like you can smell it across the room sometimes. Yes. Whereas yes. this one... You, you could look at your... Certainly, certainly hovering above it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, um, it's so light. All I'm basically getting is it, it, there is a kind of yeah. light fruity. Yeah, my initial thought was definitely I'll get, get the sweet. Maybe something zesty? Not, yeah. not quite sure what citrus. Yeah, it's kind of citrusy, got a bit of marzipan, I think. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it reminds me a bit of cake. Marzipan and that kind of fruit yeah. kind of thing going on. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
whatever the mid range is, which isn't mm. particularly distinct. Uh, yeah, and the finish comes and goes. Yeah. Yeah, well, not much fanfare. Mm. Well, on the on the finish, it's I guess kind of get a bit of the tannins from the red wine. It's just mm. bit, bit kind of try and yeah. Tiny. And I think they must have used a, a drier sherry in the sherry cask because mm. there's a hint of it, but it's not 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 that sort of sweetness that you might get with a a, a sherry bomb. You know, it's no, not mm, not. yeah. It tastes as if it's got more bourbon or more bourbon cask in it than any of the rest. Mm. I don't think this was an even. 33% of each one going into this, this, uh, the blend. Mm. Cool. It also tastes yeah. kind of compact, you know, I hope when we put a bit of water in it, yes. it will open up a bit more. It's, it's just... Mm. No, it's not, yeah, exactly, it's not bad, mm. but it's not great either. Okay. It doesn't stand out, it's pretty grey. Okay, well, should we do the water? All right, let's put more in. Yeah, yeah definitely opens up. Mm. Definitely more there now. Doesn't exactly lift the flavours more, but there's mm. more of a peppery hit right at the start. There's, right at the start, yes. You know, there's more spice. Mm. Um, that's the most distinctive change. The mid-tones, the middle seems to go, it flies straight past you, it really does, it doesn't yeah, hang about it's at all. It's flat. Yeah, it's, it's this peppery thing, then uh, something happens while you're, while you're sort of making a mental note of that, and before you know it, you're, you're at finish, yeah. wondering. It's getting that really dry, mm. finishes just. Mm. I mean, if you're a red wine fan, when you, and, and a, a red wine fan of where it's quite dry, like a Merlot or something like that, the finish would be quite familiar, I think, because it's quite dry. It mm -hmm. doesn't go away in a particular hurry, but it's no, no, it it's sticks like around. A, it's still another there. tone of mm, mm. yeah. You know, I was thinking twenty nine. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking more 27, yeah, I think that's where I'm at. I mean, it's it's quite indistinct, I mean, mm -hmm. and while the, the initial bit's nice, uh, especially if you're a bourbon fan, you'll quite like the way it comes in, mm -hmm. it's not got enough after that, it kind of runs out of gas really quickly, mm -hmm. um, and while it's not unpleasant, it's not super pleasant. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I said it's a bit yeah. beige. How about you? Um, yeah, my initial score when we did the initial tasting was um, 24. I'm not budging. It's, <laughs> um, it's okay. the midway point. Right. It's not bad. Mm. It's not good. It's really unoffensive. It's great. It is. Mm. Yeah. So, obviously, you'll throw it in a flask, right? No. No, 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 I want something to yeah. to drink. Yeah, as opposed to something to give away. Yeah, well, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. So it's, it's, this says, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if, <laughs> someone, gave, if someone gave me this, I'd be thinking, no, I told you I liked whiskey. I told you I liked whiskey. Get, no, it's a travel gift. So it's, you can be passing through the airport, grabbing something, and yeah. with the knowledge I have, I wouldn't grab this one. Yeah, but but this is it though, you know. I mean, but, if you're yeah. running through the airport and you thought, oh, God, get that something, don't. Yeah, no, it, don't. it's not <laughs> this one. Not this maybe, one. Maybe there's some, something else that you might pick up, but yeah. this, this one's not the one. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, we haven't tried the it's others. It's not expressive so, enough, but yeah, it really no, isn't. Uh, I, yeah. It, it's not bad, it's just not good. Mm. 24. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. So, I don't think I'll be gifting this anytime soon. So uh, yeah, I might take down one for yeah. lack of availability. So I'll yeah, get twenty-four. So that was the Glenfiddich cask.
collection uh, select cask and um, yeah, yeah C minus could do better yeah. oh, no maybe this is exactly what they wanted to make a pretty I mean I suppose when you're putting together a collection which is spreading the spectrum of your range then there's got to be something which is at one end and something which is perhaps at something else yeah. so this would be pretty much let's hope that they did <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, okay, well, um, what more to say? Uh, yep. I'm Chris. I'm Adrian. We're Booze Reviews. You know what to do. See yep. you next time. Take care. Ciao.